today is going to be just basically showing you guys my realistic getting her ready for bed and night routine type of video but I'm also gonna be adding like our whole night routine like waking up and the whole day so I might turn this into a 24-hour video I'm not really sure but this is for sure it's gonna be a night routine video and we'll see how the other part goes because you know how life is with a newborn baby it's just kind of mm -hmm. so I'm getting her bath ready and she's whining right now so I'm gonna try to get that set up really quickly get her bottle ready for when she comes out getting ready two bottles one for her night and the other for when she get out the bath so one breast milk one go before go never used this before so let's just hope for the best It's okay, baby girl. So I just got finished pumping. It is currently 11.55. I am about to do a little bit of editing. Um, just to, oh, yeah. yeah, just to kind of get the ball rolling. It's been very hard trying to juggle, but I'm gonna get my life together. So the only way that I see it happening 
per se as far as on a more frequent note is doing things like this try to get a step ahead on the next day so i'm probably gonna sit here and try to edit for at least 45 minutes i already did a little bit of editing earlier for like 30 minutes so um if i can do that that means that when tomorrow comes i can be a little ahead on that part so i already knocked down about uh four minutes of footage which is pretty good but it doesn't put a dent in because all my footages are at least 45 minutes to an hour long it usually takes me about four hours to do one video four or five hours just depending on that part that's not including doing thumbnails and stuff like that so I'm going to try to get a jump ahead for tomorrow and then uh, head off to bed. All right, so it is 5.03 in the morning. Clearly, I just got finished feeding Nala. I don't nurse her in the middle of the night. I won't even attempt to try. She woke up around probably 4.40 or something like that. I fed her, changed her, and then fed her the rest of the bottle. That's a pretty good tip as far as, like, trying to get the baby to go back to sleep. It's not normal for her to just fall right back asleep. Uh, she's being a little stubborn, but I just gonna let her wrestle herself to sleep uh, because I need to pump. So that's what I'm gonna get ready to do. And if I feel like it, I might try to edit a little bit more. So typically in the morning, uh, I would try to drink a bottle of water, which is two glasses of water. And sometimes I have a snack in the morning. I typically just drink the water. So I just got this sam's club store about water that i actually kind of like it's really cheap so i usually try to drink this down and eat while being on my phone until i'm done and then start pumping took me a show to finish drinking the water, which it usually always does for whatever reason, because I don't really care for water like I'm supposed to. But it is exactly 5.59, and I pumped about five and a half ounces, so that was pretty good. So I'm gonna save one for her 7.30 feeding. She usually feed around 7.30, so I'm gonna just save one. If you didn't know, you can keep breast milk around uh, room temperature for six hours. Um, so I usually put one in the airtight bag and just bring it in the room with me. I asked my doctor about it. They said it's cool. Um, so I usually airtight it like I would put in a freezer, but just bring it in the room with me. And whenever she's ready, I'll pour it into a bottle and whatever. And I'm about to put the other one in the freezer. This one is like two and a half ounces, but it's just freezing anyway. But yeah, I'm extremely tired. David's about to get up for work. 
really soon. He usually wakes up around six and start getting ready. So um, it'll, it'll be a, it'll be a good transition to go to bed. I'm clearly tired. So, so it's actually um, ten o'clock. She got up at eight o'clock, and I end up putting the docket tie in the bed for me to try to soothe her. That that worked for about two hours and so now it's 10 o'clock and she is eating right now i just got popped up for the moment just to film but yeah i just came into the living room to see if i can entertain her she's still really sleepy honestly it's usually like a hit or miss at this point if i can keep her up but right now she's still really sleepy so I'm just going to let her eat and then sleep a little bit longer, probably another hour, and that way I can get another hour of sleep. Hopefully by 11 o'clock, she'll be a little bit more energized, and then we can see what happens. So I'm going to just go ahead and feed her and um, watch some cartoons, and that usually puts her to sleep. So I'm trying to get my internet cable to work so that she can listen to that, and that usually helps her out. Um, yeah, let me see if I can get these stories up, though. All right, so it is 11.02. I just got finished um, changing baby Nala. I took a quick shower and then pumped. I have a bag here about four ounces and I also have about three ounces in this bottle. Um, I'm gonna put that in the refrigerator because she is tired again. We have stayed up about maybe 30 40 minutes and now she's getting tired as you can see <laughs> uh she's on her lounger and she's watching this show it's called t t series with fun or something like that hold on let me see if i can yeah t series kids hut that's what it's called so she's watching this one currently and she likes it because it's very vibrant hold on yeah you see how vibrant it is and you know they just tell a bunch of stories and she likes it so i'm gonna let her i kind of like this better because it than the babyish stuff because they don't talk as much as babies and she can understand and learn words and stuff like that so she likes it i love it it's still kid friendly and they do a lot of like disney shows not disney but like disney characters in their own little story form like the uh like the golden series books so i just play that when we decide to get up Honestly, I do get up pretty late to have a baby. I need to learn how to get up a little bit earlier as far as staying up and getting other stuff done. That's what's been my problem so far. But yeah, um, I took a shower. She's about to go to sleep and I'm going to try to my best to finish up some editing and post today. That is the goal. So it looks like she is pretty close to sleeping. So I'm here looking like somebody's mom, but it is currently 2.34. Nala just got up from her third nap of the day, I feel like. She only stays up for maybe an hour at a time, but she still does decent at night. So she is with Denise, but clearly she's awake. So she is kind of eating, but just kind of just chilling out. So probably gonna put on some more cartoons for her. I am still trying to edit and then after I post this video, then I think I'm gonna take her out on a walk, do something different. Um, I'm not gonna act like I do this every day, cause I don't. I also made some pancakes that came out really good. And oh, I have bought these things. Let's see how this goes. So I had got some, if I can grab it open. So, yeah, this is it. This is Dr. Brown's natural, some type of, 
What? I got a 100. Oh, what? It's a test? Yeah. Congratulations. Good job. Oh my gosh, child. So oh. yeah, it's basically uh, these Dr. Brown wipes that I've seen. Apparently, there's some tooth and gum wipes, so you're supposed to use this to clean their mouth and the gums from the milk residue. So I had bought this. And you can start this as soon as they're born. The directions just say, peel back label, use tooth and gum wipe them around all the surrounding areas of the mouth, including gums, teeth, cheeks, and tongue. Wash your hand before, do not flush, and discard. And you use two, three times a day. Oh yeah, all, it's, it's plant-based. What was that? You know that farting. Oh wow. It's like a lie. I tell you. So I'm gonna use a couple of these. So they're supposed to have like this grape flavor. It's called glowing grape. And each one of these got 30 wipes in it. So let's just see how this goes. So I'm gonna open them. And here, one wipe. These, you know, in the comments I read that these wipes are huge, but I don't think they're that huge, huh? Wow. They smell so Wow, you can actually see her trying to fart. They smell like great medicine, honestly. So, let's see how this goes. She don't really like her mouth open, so. Mm. She's seeing cool with it. She seemed cool with it so far. Honestly, she, I think she's trying to drink it. So I'm trying to get in the cheek area, underneath right here, where her tongue tie is. I'm gonna try to get her tongue out. She let me get a little bit of it. Come on, bring the tongue out. Bring the tonguey down. Bring the tonguey down. Mm-hmm. Come on. The big part I want is that tongue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. She's trying to eat it. Let me get the roof of that mouth. Let me get the roof. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's trying to eat it. Oh, nasty shit. Mm-hmm. It has become one with her tongue. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I got it pretty good, though. So, uh, it ain't like, you can see a little bit on there, that dark glare from getting her tongue good so i don't see no problem with oh there we go oh it's clean i don't know if you guys see that so that's that chubby booty <laughs> you like it better than that thumb thing that maybe? thumb thing is huge it's like trying to put three thumbs in a baby's mouth mm -hmm. that thing is big yeah Too big. yeah the one that comes in those little medicine kits it's like so huge so I want, I've been wanting to clear her tongue, but I couldn't because that thing is so big and she couldn't open her mouth that wide. Even, and she would actually try with the thumb thing though, but she just like couldn't get it in her mm -hmm. mouth and she would open up wide. Mm -hmm. So with these, these are cool because it's small, they flavor it, she just want to eat them. And that way she can keep her teeth because you know the big problem with kids is going to sleep with milk in their mouth and their teeth start going bad when they get them. So. You smelling? You smelling? You smelling? She has this imaginary ice cream she like to eat. <laughs> so, David is finally home. I got a package in the mail from Fashion Nova. Excuse my bra. And it is an outfit and boots that I am planning on wearing to the Millennium Tour that's coming here to Tampa this Saturday. So that should be exciting. But yeah, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and close out this day, but look at baby Nala for one last time. This is probably her last bottle before she goes to bed. Well, she gets one more bottle before she gets to bed. So she's just chilling out. She honestly just pooped, so I got to change her. David's home. He is, I don't know what he's doing. I think 
He trying to get a new job, child. So, yeah, he just made it home. I went to Sam's Club, which I didn't even think twice about filming that because I had to literally th throw on something, right? But I got a uh, rotisserie chicken. If y'all go to Sam's Club, y'all know the rotisserie chicken is bomb. So that is just what's gonna be for tonight because I don't have time to cook anything. But yeah, pretty soon we're gonna be going right back into the night routine. That's just pretty much what it looks like overall. And I did pump again two more times. My last pump, I got about five ounces in that. And I put that in the refrigerator because I'm gonna end up saving that for her nighttime bottle so yeah i think that is gonna be it i hope you guys really do appreciate me doing this because it's really hard for me i don't know just pray for me child <laughs> but yeah that's gonna be it and i'll see you guys in the next one